All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Eldar Guardian in the same Hain uh, paint scheme. So that's your reds there. We've got the Mephiston red is going to be the main red color, um, some gray for the helmet, some sheer black for the gun, and some other red for some of uh, the cloaks, or not cloaks, the little sashes. So here's uh, the base colors all done. So I did the helmet with the light gray uh, mask and gun with black and the rest of it in reds. <clears throat> so uh, what I'm doing here is putting Kabor Crimson uh, over all of the red bits and putting a nice liberal coat on there so it, uh, it's going to pool nicely in the cracks. Um, all of the uh, images there at the beginning will be on my website, which is www.it's, sorry, not www, it's like watching paint and there'll be a link in the description below. Okay, so now Administrium Gray um, is going on top of the, uh, the gray bits. So there's a couple little things on his legs there, um, beyond his arm, and then his helmet. So uh, I started with a darker gray as the base color and just highlighting up grays um, up until almost a white for the finish. And I'm using a really terrible brush here, so it's not going great. Okay, and then Uthen, Uthen gray or whatever for the, uh, the highlights. And... Um, yeah, just trying to get those on there with a fine brush. I'm trying to blend things a little bit. Uh, and of course, anything when you get close to white uh, doesn't show up very well in any of the photos. So you have to trust me that this is an off-white and uh, looks decent when it's all done. So very, very little true white on any of this. Um, and that's how I do my whites. Okay, Dark Reaper. So this is like a, a bluish gray. And I'm going to be painting this just sort of edge highlighting. Uh, once I'm done the whole gun there, I'm going to do one more highlight, and then uh, you'll see at the end I give it a black wash. And that's sort of how I do my, my blacks um, in this case here. <clears throat> so it's mostly black with just a little bit of edge highlighting is uh, the end result that I'm going for. And the same sort of highlighting will be done on the, the face as well. Okay, and then uh, moving on to the next color is the Thunderhawk blue. So this is just again like a blue gray, just trying to get some very, very fine edge highlighting. You don't really even notice the difference much with this one. Um, but uh, I'll blend that in a bit with uh, black wash at the very end. And again, because this guy is a guardian, he's going to be done in mass. Um, so <clears throat> not doing too many colors for any of the gemstones or anything like that. Just uh, basic, basic paint scheme so that you can paint lots of these guys fast. So the Mephiston Red, that was the same base color before the wash. And what I'm doing here is I'm painting all of the flat surfaces just to help bring out the brightness of the red a bit better. And it'll help blending uh, later on. You can skip this step if you want. Um, doing the Mephiston red and then the wash and then highlighting from there is perfectly fine. This will just give you a bit better blending. Um, so I guess depending on how many guys you got to paint, uh, you can skip this step. It is one of the longer steps because you're painting so many of the surfaces. However, it does go uh, fairly easily. You're not uh, worried about, you know, you're not worried about too much detail here. Just trying to get all the, the main surfaces that are not deep crevices. Okay, and for our next red, we're using Evil Sun Scarlet. So that's the next one up in that uh, the complementary sort of uh, layers from the GW range. And I'm just painting this sort of like line highlighting around all the edges of the armor. And uh, not trying to get it too, too stark of a difference, trying to blend it a little bit. Some people like it uh, really uh, distinct line highlighting. I like it to be blended a bit more, partly because I can't get it to look right with the stark lines. But uh, that all depends on what your preference is and how you want your guys to look at the end. And there are a couple spots here where I mess up and get some red on other things. Um, normally I paint my different colors uh, at different times. There's some red on the helmet there. Um, so I paint like one layer of each color and then I can kind of cover up any mistakes like this. Uh, in this case I didn't, so I have to go back and touch up the, the spot on the gun as well as the helmet. Okay, now Wild Rider Red, just for some edge highlighting. This goes really quick because I don't have to worry about every single edge, just sort of the main ones that are most obvious. And uh, on the 
the top of his shoulder backpack thing, his arm plates and his uh, things on his backpack as well. So this is just trying to get the uh, the edges that would stick out most and be most obvious, um, just to give an impression of, of a bit more contrast. Okay, Wazdaka red. So this is the other red that I did there for the corn red base. Very very uh, minor bits on this model. Um, if you were doing sort of the wraith guard, uh, they have a talbird sort of a thing there that you could paint with this, but really very little noticeable on this particular model. Okay, and then finally, Newland Oil Wash uh, for all the black bits, and that just helps make them a bit more of a stark black and blends some of those grays just a little bit better. And that's it. This guy's done. Um, I do the base up with the Armageddon dust and uh, and I paint the, the rim around the outside with Steel Legion drab, and uh, here we are all done. So... Um, paints up pretty quickly really only three major colors um, the fourth one I probably could have skipped altogether that being the uh, complementary red um, but this could have been just red black and gray and that would have been uh, perfectly fine for your guardian squad tabletop level so uh, this would be a great uh, Sam Hain uh, paint scheme for the rest of your army and you could add a bit more details here and there